guys let us talk about sean's disconnection with victoria hey guys welcome to the channel my name is vicky and yeah, this is victoria too here you again so today we are just going to be talking about the whole sean and victoria's disconnection and every other interesting topic about wani and sean sharing their first kiss and then we are also going to be talking about how toby has refused to give up on cassia you understand but yeah yesterday was the arena game and you know in this particular arena game is nothing too spectacular or too difficult this is just big brother trying to actually know how much the housemates know their partners you understand so first of all it's like a two um part kind of um game you get first of all you're going to recognize your partner by their smell and then i see a lot of people say that oh victoria and sean they were a thing outside victoria and sean they were this they were that guys victoria and sean were the only partners that actually failed in the first round of the game in fact they were the only ones that failed in the first round of game which is trying to perceive sniff your partner and getting their smell to know who because big guy is going to get, give you like they, they are going to blindfold you you get and then when they blindfold you they'll bring like five different people among the five people you're going to tell big brother which one is your partner after sniffing all of them and guess what guys sean was the one that actually so sean was the one that was actually blindfolded and he failed woefully <laughs> sniffing everybody he actually mistook me for victoria and he was the only one that actually failed in that round and for the time going you've been not i've been noticing that there is a disconnect between sean and victoria and it makes me wonder are they really friends not even best friends are they even friends at all you understand because sean hardly talks to victoria they've been keeping their distance from each other there's no communication whereas every pair in the house are always together trying to start strategize on how to go further in the game but Sean and Victoria's own seem not to be the case. You understand? Because Sean has been drawn to one uh, to Wani so much that they are even they are always together. I'm not saying that Sean cannot be together with who he loves in the house based on the fact that he came in with Victoria as just friends. You understand? I don't understand the rumor that is going about whether it's true or it's not, but we will have to maintain the fact that they said that they are just friends you get. But he's been close to Wani and they've been they are an item as we speak at this time but i don't understand the disconnect can somebody please explain to me in the comment section because these people are far from even being friends some people are speculating that oh maybe the girl the uh, allegedly the girl that was disqualified was one of them's partner and big brother just forcefully paid them or some people are also saying that oh sean is trying to get back at victoria because they were a thing outside the house they broke up victoria cheated blah blah, blah. this story just plenty but that is not the reason why you came in as a pair you agreed to come in as a pair and you were not trying to build something with your partner to see how you guys would go forward in the game it's i can't i seriously i don't know how to you know wrap my head around what sean is doing because the disconnection is disconnecting moving on same last night was also their first ever pool party and the guys these housemates had the fun of their life well, I go show them again, they enjoy themselves and that was where you could see Wani and Sean sharing their first kiss. <laughs> At this point, I'm just going to say that Wani, please, can you calm down? Because it's shocking her. It's shocking her. Because sometimes you see the guy just lost even where Wani is. The guy is not as invested in the way Wani is in the relationship. But yeah, yesterday in the pool party, we actually experienced their first kiss together. They were all over lovey dovey each other, chopping and chewing each other's mouths to their own enjoyment. But ah, who are we to talk? We are waiting for more driver to unfold for us to actually, you know, dive in and enjoy it, you get. So that's basically it. And then moving on, Toby Ford has decided never to give up on Cassia. Because after the pool party, you could see him talking to Cassia at the corner that it feels like pinning her in the middle of the house in front of everybody and kissing her. He also feels like impregnating her. Oh, now one day. 
one game. The heartbreak that two people will have when he finally finds out. I don't know if they are ever going to find out in the house that these people are married or it is outside the house. But I'm sure that there's heartbreak waiting for Toby somewhere along the line. You've been in positions where I could actually kiss. I swear, I've imagined kissing you for so long since the first day I saw you. I want to pin you to the wall and kiss you. Seriously, that's like one of my intentions. But uh, I just feel like it's not okay. Like you deserve better, you know, like somebody that actually genuinely feels for you. Another perspective I'm thinking about is is Toad B just trying to, you know, throw some lines to her, trying to make her fall. Does he really mean it? But if he does mean everything that he's been talking about, whoa. This heartbreak go loud. It's gonna loud because each time he's giving the girl words, throwing some words to her, trying to you know toast her, you know make her trip. She has been laughing it off. You understand? She has been laughing it off, trying to you know still not show him interest because of course she's a married woman and even with her husband in there. So Toby is in for a heartbreak because when they go road no go madi. And guys, hmm, we have a BBC Al Jazeera in the house in person of Chizoba. Eh? That girl can talk like she knows every information in the house passes through Chizoba. Chizoba to everybody, Chizoba is the talkative and all over the place kind of person because she knows they stay one place. She you can't find Chizoba standing one at one spot. She's everywhere in everybody's business, in everybody's clique, trying to get one information. You people can just be discussing, you will not even know that Chizoba is there, you know, talking to see the house has just been. I feel like just in just three days, the house has been quite interesting. Like, let's just give it to be brother because he actually tried in the selection of housemates this season. So I don't know what your thoughts are about the Wani and the, the Wani and Sean situation, the Sean and Victoria situation, and also the Toby not giving up on Cassius situation. What are your thoughts? Please leave it in the comment section. Thank you so very much for watching the video. I just said I should run up and give you guys this. I have something very important I'm about to do, but I just felt to drop this video here for you guys. Please leave your comments in the comment section, and please do not forget to like this video. My name is Victoria. I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.